You have no idea what kind of life I live. I don't even know where to hide. There are times like after he beat, he beat me, I will run, run outside, but then my kids are inside. I couldn't do it anymore. I was suicidal and that's all I could think of. You don't have any friends. You don't have any extracurricular activities at all. You lose interest in everything that you used to love. After an incident happens, there might be flowers, there might be gifts. Maybe that's when a new car shows up and all of a sudden you see the person that you fell in love with and you're like, okay, maybe I can, maybe this will be the last time. Maybe this, will. and I think then you begin to not be able to see the forest for the trees before you've been there for 10 years and you're thinking, oh my goodness, I can't do this anymore. My son's birthday and we're going to have a birthday party the next day. So I went out with my friend to buy things in Superstore, but I was a bit late. He got a knife, um, threw all the things that I bought, I stopped the bleach and the bleach just went with the food and he got the knife and he threw the knife and it just like went and all my kids saw that. I waited for him to sleep and called the, ch the shelter. They sent a cup for us and I didn't wake up any of my kids. I brought the kids one by one outside to the cab until we got out. He came home in a drunken rage and started smashing up the house. Um, so that's when I called the police and I hid in the kids' room and then he smashed the door down because I thought that maybe he would back off because he wouldn't want to scare the kids but didn't stop him. This was Christmas Eve. The police came and took him away and they actually called later that night and said, are you still in the house? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, we think you should leave now. They said, we don't know how long we can keep him and we don't think you should be in that house. And we packed all the presents and enough clothes and stuff we needed and we went to my mom's and showed up at four in the morning. It started off small, so it would be a lecture about not getting juice when I was at the store, but it would be a 30 minute lecture. It's constantly rolling around in your head. It's like somebody's slapping the inside of your head all the time in your heart. It goes right through to your heart. I don't know how you explain that when your strength is going away, I felt that in me. It's like I cannot go anymore. I, 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 I thought of like killing myself and my kids, but I know that's not an option. I feel like if I leave, I have no idea what's going to happen to me and to my kids. Stress can do just huge things to a, a person's psyche and and when you are worried about the safety, your safety, when you're worried about your children's safety, when you're worried about what am I going back home to, and physically and emotionally it can just get absolutely exhausting to the point where you can't think clearly. With Juletta's Place, if we can offer people that that place to land, you know what, you're safe, you got some time to catch your breath, it gives people the, that opportunity to just relax and be able to, to clear their mind and think a little bit more clear. The first time I left him, it was in 2002, and I started, and then I started coming to Women's Outreach, and I met Barb. Juliana's place is, to me, it's like, um, it's like heaven when we, when I don't have to deal with uh, fear, it gives me time to think about if I keep doing what I'm doing, it's not gonna end. The support and the camaraderie that Juliettas offers is not something I would have ever expected. So it isn't just, it's not just a, a safe place, it was a family. After I got into Juliettas place, that's when I felt that I was able to reach out to my friends again, reach out to family members and let them know what had gone on for the last 10 years. 
And within weeks of being in Juletta's, I started seeing that person again that I hadn't seen in almost 10 years. <laughs> the services that we have at the outreach offer that long-term support that we can really truly make that difference and, and change the lives of not only the person, the adult that's seeking the, the services, but the children. They keep supporting you even after you move into the community and you're out on your own and doing things, you know, for yourself, which is amazing. There was always a counselor here to help. When I needed to find a job, there was someone here who helped me find a job. I needed to find a home, they were here to help me find a home. They helped me every single step of the way. So not only did they give me all the tools that I need to start my life again, they convinced me that I could do it. So it gets better and better and better because I learned to stand up for myself. Now I am in school and I'm taking social work so I can help other women like me. We see families come from such a traumatic st stage and position to be such a thriving family unit and it's because somebody believes that they can do it. It's because of you that the agency can thrive to do what we need to do to help our families thrive in the community.